Hi and welcome to the 88th Hammer Tutorial. Keeping with the Portal 2 theme, we're going to be making the intro signs that are at the beginning of each level that tell you the test chamber number and what puzzle elements are included. Now some of you may think that this is a texture, but this is in fact not the um, not the situation. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the authoring tools and we're going to go to my computer. We're going to browse to our Steam location. Most of you it'll be like C, Program Files, x86, Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Portal 2. Portal 2, Scripts, Vscripts, Transitions. Alright, so we'll just keep that there for now. Going to open up Hammer. I'm just going to go ahead and reuse the old tutorial map and just rename it really quick here. Okay. So first off, we're going to go ahead and add the sign in really quick. This is a lot easier than you may think because we're going to use an instance. So create an entity, make it a function instance, browse for the file name, instances, signs. Now you can choose your look. There's two of them. There's clean or dirty. I'm going to go and use the clean one. And we're going to name this um, info sign. And press apply. And there's our sign now. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this up on the wall really quick. Alright, now currently it won't do anything when we tell it to activate because it, it just won't. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this button, I'm going to reroute this button to turn on the sign. So on pressed, target the sign, um, instance activate. Okay, typically you'll do this with the trigger multiple when they come into range, but I'm just going to use the button today because it's easier for me to control when it turns on and off again. And I'm also going to have it disable itself after those those four seconds if you watched the other tutorial. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to compile it but we're not done yet. Alright, go to save as copy the map name and close that. So now we're in our vscripts transitions folder. We're going to go ahead and open up SP Lightboard Icons. Now this file is pretty self-explanatory. You'll notice that we have an array of levels here with all their map names. So we're going to go ahead and add our map in just right after, well actually right at the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and paste the map name. And we're going to copy one of these and call it our own. Delete the name add quotation marks and drop it on a new line. Now you notice there's a couple things to notice here. We have level number, so this is the current number out of how many. I'm going to set this to 2 for something. Um, the startup animation, there are a couple. I'm going to go with the normal flicker. So you can just copy and paste this. All this is included at the top, as you'll see it's commented out. And for dirt, I'm going to go ahead and have dirt zero. I want it to be clean. Now below, you'll see that there are 10 things listed here, because there are two rows of five icons on the board. So you have to have 10 things listed, but you'll notice that not all of them are blackened in, if you will. So we're going to go ahead and change what we have. These are all marked accordingly. So let's say I don't want this drink water one. Instead I want I want hands off. So I'm gonna paste in hands off and hands off one. If it has one on it that means that it'll be black. If it has zero that means that it will show up on the board but it will not be black and in. So I'm also going to have button stand and cube button black and in. I'm going to go ahead and save this text document. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and load portal. So I'll see you in the game. Alrighty, here we are in Portal 2. You'll notice the sign is off at the beginning, but I push the button. Turns on, there's what I've told it to add, and it turns back off like I want. Now you'll see the different animations when it turns on. It will be brighter in game. I do not have visibility or radiosity compiled in this level because there is no light. So, I hope this tutorial helped you create a custom sign. If you are doing this for your own mod, you'll want to include it in the VPK file as your own. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.